morning guys and girls uh, so we are on the one hour Bitcoin chart so I thought this morning I'll just run through all the levels I have on my chart and just to give you an idea or maybe to motivate you to look for your own levels this, this is always so fascinating to me I think that's where my energy comes from I, I just really love these technicals and that's what gets me going in the morning I can't wait to open the chart and look for new levels and try and figure out how Bitcoin reacted so I'll start off with this high range or high time frame fixed range from uh, basically beginning of December um, just the only thing I want to highlight here is that we at quite a high volume node here so there's a high volume node obviously that 47,000 that we always speak about the 42,000 important and now around here um, around 38 so we this is last support if we move further down we go into um, quite a low volume and dangerous area down there uh, the next um, one I wanted to show you is this Fibonacci from also from the same time frame the um, early December um, down to the lows in January and you see how that golden pocket uh, reacted and uh, well acted as uh, resistance and then coming down to a lower time frame you'll see I think I've showed you this a few times already very very good resistance there um, around the $42,000 area and then even a little bit more local uh, yeah, what I wanted to show you was that we had that huge week well up and down yesterday so our Fibonacci would have only been on that line there yesterday and we wicked into that um, 0.382 and that is quite a uh, I wouldn't have um, predicted that but it's always levels that we need to remember on our chart uh, I just wanna forgot to put this one in yeah if we take the bigger pull from there again the 382 is um, acting as resistance there so just something that I've picked up um, I didn't figure it out myself I also learned it from someone is when you have a movement down and then you have a retracement into the 382 and that acts as support or resistance then normally that is um, then that same trend continues quite strong or that is an indication of a strong trend in the same direction if we pull back into the golden pocket that is also a healthy pullback and normally will continue but this is considered in the same direction and lo and behold you know we never overcame the VWAP we just continue down from there um, just something to um, remember or keep in the back of your mind so I'm just going to remove that and remove that um, and then the local range I wanted to just show you this see how this um, um, early this morning we rejected off the value area low of this local range that we formed here and yesterday or last night and yeah l late last night we rejected off the value area high so maybe just adjust that one updated a bit um, there and there so these ranges are really really crucial and now we're going to zoom out a bit again for the 2022 range basically started there just before we dropped in you see I've got that from December range but I want this because that is an upper range we're trying to break in there remember that area there is our big resistance along there so we're in this range now this is our high time frame local range I'd say see the value area low look where we found support early this morning exactly on the value area low uh, so these things can't be made up they <laughs> even the value area high up there so uh, I'm just going through this as an example or maybe a um, motivation for you to to do your own levels and always keep these up to date so early morning I clean my chart like I have it now in between and then I just try and get a view of where we are in the market and are we in a downtrend or in an uptrend um, try and figure things out and get my mind set in the right direction I think this is the range we can refer to back so we went out there and we played around
but this is quite a long range if you look at the length of that range and we go out quickly we come down so I think this is most important local or uh, lower time frame range we can we can look at so you'll see that that value area low there is our uh, that's, that's our base support 38,000 and obviously we need to break point of control and then that value area high to to move to the to the upper zone or the higher zone um, then I'll all also always keep this you know that previous um, high um, on my chart for a support resistance flip and you can see how these started forming confluences uh, where were we now that lower range not that one the local range yeah also close to the value area high of that local range so always looking for confluences I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit again here yeah. and make it session pointer so these are from a paid platform um, but I will always uh, you can obviously just pause your screen now and, and uh, record this just something interesting I wanted to so yesterday these I'm gonna remove them now because now they've been touched so they're not naked anymore but once again so the chart ju doesn't just stop anywhere um, you know people wonder where it will come down to but they were naked session point of controls and that's why we got a, a bit of support there so sessions you know they talk about sessions so that's normally the New York um, session and then you get the well in my time zone it starts with the London open um, 10 o'clock my time in the morning and then that is quite an important time to be in front of the charts and then obviously um, New York open is uh, half, half past four my time and then the Asia open is two o'clock which in the morning early hours in the morning which I obviously miss um, just some info for you to also keep in the back of your mind and then we have the naked daily naked weekly and naked monthly point of controls which I also always keep on my chart you can also just record them when they come up I always show them in the morning so you don't have to pay you can just um, copy mine I mark that one in red because I think that's a crucial crucial level also close to that 47 that zone there and then the TPO is the time price opportunity that's the f so the footprint charts I also look at you can just remember these uh, let me just make a point of controls you can see the zones which are quite important so obviously around here 42 also comes up again and then that area there also quite important and obviously there as well just close them off and then always just the single prints as well single prints are always also it's not that important but they act as, as um, so sorry not the single prints there's um, swing failure patterns I always have them marked on my chart uh, or, or you can see they've got, got question marks I always say that it might come down there because there's liquidity and there's liquidity and there's liquidity so that one there is probably a bit more important so in fact I'll, when we were going up there I thought we were going to take out that one so now this becomes more important let me just get my magnet on right so that's the swing failure pattern so w these all these people that shorter down here their stop losses will be there so there's a lot of money or liquidity lying there same with the people that longed up here a lot of stop losses there and even there m even more stop losses and even more there um, I always just keep that in the back of my mind to uh, try and predict <laughs> we, we can't predict but just to be ready to react on those levels and uh, yeah, this is the single prints I was just um, speaking about when the chart moves really fast through an area so you don't even need these you see there we moved really fast and coming down and when we went up we moved really fast through there again coming down really fast through there and that week really fast through there so those are normally single prints so this week up here took out a lot of single prints that we here so this whole area was actually filled with single prints there as well see we moved fast there single prints there so just to explain to you so if we're going up we'll have a, a, a normally a, a reaction on at the bottom of those single prints um, but if we manage to get into it it's like a magnet will normally the market normally wants to close that so I was surprised there that we actually wicked in there and we didn't go back up to, to close that um, the single prints up there. And then on the anchored view apps, once again, no surprises. It's just two I wanted to show you. 
see that week from yesterday. Uh, so let me just show you. I took that from the two lows, the two recent lows from there and from the angled view apps. Always good to have these on your charts. I don't have everything open the whole time, but I normally go through my chart and what's rele relevant. I will switch on, and like the rest, I will leave off. I won't open everything. It just gets too confusing. Um, and then obviously the higher time frame levels, which is the daily, the weekly, and the monthly. Um, yeah, well you can just stop and record there, but you know how to get these. These are all easy to do on, on uh, a non-paid platform. And then the weekly levels, um, some of them you need a paid platform, but yeah, I always give these on a on a Monday. And the same with the monthly levels, I give them on a, the first of the month. So that previous month equilibrium was also a confluence for those two angered view webs for that resistance we had there yesterday. Just want to go on a lower time frame here. Yeah, I thought I saw something here. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was this um, previous month value area low. Look how perfectly we touched there and we touched there. And this more uh, on this week down came back to retest. Always a bullish sign, and there we go up. So we went through the VWAP. Um, VWAP's always resistance. See there, resistance, resistance come down. The minute we found support from the previous month value area low, we closed that 15 minute candle above the VWAP, and there we go up. So that was quite a bullish, bullish sign there. And while we're down here, let me just start pulling some fibs here. This will probably be the last thing that I do this morning. Just to look at some levels Yeah, yeah. So you see we had that big candle up there, and then the next one up was VWAP, and that golden pocket was um, confluence for that, so that was quite an easy, um, like a day trade to take. And if you take that further on, uh, you see how that um, golden pocket acted as resistance, resistance. So if you missed that one, you could have gotten in there. And that would be would have been a nice trade overnight. Mm, there was something else I wanted to show. Can't remember now from up there. No, that that was the 382. Oh yeah, there's uh, another little. If you missed even missed those trades, then. Um, just get this Fibonacci tool going. Then from obviously from that high there to that low there. Now once again it pulled into that. Let me just remove the other one. See the 786 and nearly to the 88, um, 886, and in confluence with the VWAP. So yes, these levels are so you can't make these things up. It's really quite interesting. And then the last thing I wanted to show is this is also quite a, a shape that I've seen quite often, that little rounded top like that. Um, Bitcoin loves making those. But even there, I think they were at some good levels there for a short. Yeah. That so when we hit the, that was like a swing failure of that level and then a swing failure of that level and then when we reached the top and we made a, a, a low Fibonacci right into that golden pocket again if you shorted there which I didn't and then <laughs> nice move down to the bottom so yes I just love these levels um it's just a, I think it's a it's quite easy to get to the technical level to see all these levels. But then there's a huge, huge leap to the psychological level to actually get yourself to take these trades and to trust yourself to take these trades. And uh, yeah, it's a, there's always a new level to reach for. So keep your eyes on the charts. Please keep your eyes on the charts and I'll speak to you again tomorrow. Cheers.